Scrufford. Still as beautiful as ever. And Scrufford Castle. My childhood home. <laughs> one, one, one moment. Yes, yes. Who is it? <clears throat> I'm George Arthur Philip Scruff, the Duke of Scrufford. I'm sorry, old chap, but that position has been filled by me, Charles, Vice Regent and soon to be crowned Duke of Scrufford. George, say something. Well, Victoria, maybe it's too late. <coughs> the Royal Decree. Well done, Scruffy. <coughs> Should the seat of Scrufford be without a duke for thirty years and a day, let the one who holds court as Duke Regent claim the seat as his own. You get the point. <coughs> now give me that. Ah. Unless a true blood heir proves himself before this time is up. And your time is up. Tonight, I will be crowned the Duke of Scrufford by the Queen herself. <clears throat> and let the heir bring forth the lost regalia that will fulfil his destiny as the true Duke of Scrufford. I've waited thirty years for this day, and no one is going to stop me. Not even the Scruffs. Ah, I think I know just the person who can help us. Come on, Gramps, yes, let's go. <laughs> I'm glad you're here to help us, my friend. Another adventure awaits. Come along. Sarigamabadanis, <laughs> Roger, it's me, George, your childhood friend. I am not believing my eyes. Okay, I test you. Oh, really, Roger? There's no time for fun and games. Blimey, I am not funning or gaming. You see, I am remembering not where I put my thingies. We can help you find your things. We're the experts. Okay, find my thingies and meet me in the attic. Then we help each other. Like I scratch my back and you scratch yours? Thousand apologies, but I cannot be helping you just yet. Hey, click on Scruffy when you need help finding items. Go ahead, make my day. Great. Now that you have Scruffy's attention, watch and listen to Scruffy react as you get closer to the item. The closer you are, the more excited he gets. Fantastic! Friend, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You are passing the first test with flying colors. You are to be finding all the items listed in this scroll. I am having some important work to be taken care of. Call me when you are done. Here is the scroll. It should be helping you.
Memory lane together. I'm afraid I don't have time for that, Roger. We must find the lost regalia before the day is over. The first regalia has already been found. This old tapestry is regalia. That old tapestry is the order of the Knights of Scrafford, and the first knight is being yours truly. We are a very secret order, loyal only to the true Duke of Scrafford. Well then, let's settle this matter at once. Uh, there is being only one small problem. Each knight is knowing only where the next knight is. No, senor. Uh, Miss Goosey. Uh, macaroni? Panini? Capiche? Mm. Excuse me, sir. Um, Mr. Michelangelo, we would really like your help. Molte bene. Someone will speak at that English. Of course I will help you, my little bambina. But there's a piccolo problemo. Some cannoli has lost my groceries. Find it for me, per favore, and meet me at the train station. <clears throat> Bellissimo! Nearly there, amico mio. <laughs> me and now I help you. Some spaghetti has messed up the train schedule. Me, you fix it. The train leaves the station and you find what you are looking for. Capish? Buena fortuna. <laughs> Thank you. 
Suspicious old man approaching at nine o'clock. Max? Max! Oh, 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 Basil, I think we just heard a little girl scream. That was me, you ignoramus. Anyway, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, I suppose so, Baz. But you don't think he's the Grolly, do ya? Me? The elusive Grolly? No, no. In fact, I am George, the Duke of Scrufford. <laughs> You're a right double yoker, aren't you? Ah, chip off the old block, I see. You talking to me? Blimey, Baz, you're the pants. Was it the ten speeds or the minces? Stop bungling around, Max, and find those items you claim were stolen. But, Baz, it was nicked, I tell ya. What say you help me find these missing bits and bobs, and I'll see what I can betty boo for you? I didn't understand a single word you said, but it sounds marvellous. <laughs> Look, I'm headed off to Scrafford Castle. Find me in the tennis court when you're done, yeah? <laughs> I really wish you wouldn't do that. Well, someone has to do their job, Charlie. What? Snooping around town dressed like a ninja and speaking with that annoying voice distorter? Yes, and trying to sabotage the Scruff's every attempt to recover the lost regalia. Oh, I wouldn't worry. Really? Well, here's a news flash for you, Charlie. The Scruffs and their friend have already found two regalia, and it won't be long before they find the rest. But that can't be. I looked everywhere. You obviously didn't have the right contacts. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, Charlie, you'd still be in a tutu instead of a bespoke suit. What are we going to do? Just leave it to me. I've yet to play my secret trump card. Make no mistake, I will have my revenge! <laughs> yeah. Having a right Barney finding me missing articles then? Oh, you'll find them. Just keep your blinkers on the fries. It's me turn to do you a cheesy. Here you go. 
Let me tell you something, yeah? The Grolly's a special little geezer. Get him out of his cubby hole and he'll give you what you need.
Just kidding, I'm liking this Don King look anyway. I tell you what, some prankster's been fooling around with my stuff. Find it for me and meet me at the dentist's. We'll call it Even Stevens. Who's oh, Stevens? Wagwan, you're not on fine yet, all of me things. Me link up you later. Aye? Uh, wrong personality. <laughs> yeah, man. Me knows you could do it. Now me pass you this scroll, yeah? Remember me tell ya, get little ratty running for the machine to go on. It teak!
to lose the doggy if you want to check out that scene. Stuff and nonsense. Scruff is absolutely harmless. I totally dig what you're saying, Pops, but I so can't have it smelling like Woodstock in there. <laughs> I got a totally psychedelic plan, dudes. Throw Scruffy a frisbee like whoa, and then watch him trip out of this pad like whoa. Yeah. Peace out, people. Have a totally groovy time checking out the scene, hipsters. I got a split. Fight the power. Yeah, baby. Baxter has left the building. Roger that. Now let's get Scruffy back. How? You know how to whistle, don't you, Lizzie? You just put your lips together and blow. Mm. Oh, let's just find a whistle. <laughs>
They told me about dropping by. I'm sorry, pet. So, one can't imagine one is getting something for nothing. Of course, yeah, Jet. There's no glory without hard work. Freedom! Don't tell me he's with you. <laughs> Never laid eyes on him before. Hmm. Where were we now? Oh, you won't believe me, old chap, but I, I, I can't remember. No, I can't believe that. I got it straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Oops. How can we help you, Mr McScruff? Well, me young lassie, you can start off by finding my missing things. Some no good has been mucking around the farm and I just might know who it is. Ooh, who can it be? Hmm, I won't see Nessie again if I tell you. Meet me in the ruins when you're done. Okay. Don't worry, you're doing fantastic. Just take the bull by his horns and finish the job. <laughs> I'll see you back here when you're done. <sighs> Work. Here's the scroll. Just a wee little detail that's sure to make you feel like the cat that ate the canary. Fix the mural and claim your prize. Oh, poo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Entering the foggy forest, where dangerous creatures roam and trees whisper dark secrets. Cool. Fool? Who are you calling a fool? No, no, I... Bye. Are you a boy scout trying to sell me cookies? <laughs> you look like you've eaten them all yourself. Oh, never mind. Find? Yes. Could you help me find my missing ingredients? OK. Um, but you're not going to put a spell on me, are you? Bell? Why should I put a bell on you, boy? Are you hearing things? What? Did you say something? No. Oh, good. Bring it to the bear's cave when you find it. I might just buy those cookies you're selling. <laughs> a quest for my missing ingredients, are we? Take your time. at all. A what? Who are you calling a... Oh, no, no, no. You misheard me. You have a bad knee? At your age, my dear, that's perfectly normal. By helping me, you have earned this precious scroll. Take it. What you're looking for is being guarded by a big bear. You mean like a real teddy bear? Oh, <laughs> and now for those cookies. But I don't have a single cookie. A bookie? You're too young to be taking bets, aren't you? Oh, kids these days.
What kind of fine adventure are we on today? Oh, we're looking for lost regalia, sir. Ah, <laughs> when I was in Her Majesty's Navy, the dreaded red and gold regiment. H hold your fleet. Did you say lost regalia? Yes, sir. Captain Wickham, sir. And according to my nautical calculations, the regalia should be somewhere at... 35 degrees north and 22 degrees west. <laughs> that reading is only good as a half sail up, madam. But I will steer you in the right direction if you'll join me in my quest to find my missing items. Aye, aye, Captain. Attention, crew. William, no smiling lad. You're in the Navy. Stomach in. Elizabeth, nose up, tail straight. Very good. Your mission is as follows. There's talk of strange activity on land and at high seas. Captain, we've hushed, William. Crewman, I'm the captain. I'll say when you can speak. You may speak. Sir, we've seen someone sneaking around Scrufford, haven't we, Lizzie? Good work, lad. It sounds like the fat mermaid is up to her old tricks. The fat mermaid? No time for talk. Anchors away, crew. Find my things and meet me at my cottage. I'll brief you there. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's go, Lizzie. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm the leader. I'll say when we can go. Let's go. Hey, not fair. <laughs> Keep your sails up. You're doing a splendid job. accomplished. You've earned the scroll. Use it to find four pearls that will unlock the nautical safe. All hands on deck! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I, I, I take it the r- royal d- d- decree came in handy, s- s- sir? Thank you, Fritz. But how did you know? D- 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 it's a mistake, s- sir. You have your f- f- father's eyes. <laughs> uh, b- b- but obviously not his s- 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 stiff upper lip. <clears throat> that was a moustache hair in my eye. Since you know who I am, Fritz, let us have the regalia. I, 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 I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. The true Duke of Scrofford needs to show strength and character. He not only inherits the title, he earns it. How can we help you, Fritz? So some busybody, not keen on you succeeding, has hidden away important coronation items. Find them and meet me in the castle grand dining room. I'm glad to be of service, Fritz. Glad to have you back, sir. You're doing quite well. Just a few more items left to find. Sir. Thank you, Fritz. But we couldn't have done it without our friend here. Oh, oh, of course. Uh, here's, here's the s- s- scroll. Find the f- f- four c- cannonballs to un- unlock the regalia. We can only be v- 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 victorious together. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you. 
I'm afraid there's a st strict d d dress code for, for the coronation ball. No, 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 smelly c c c cloaks or p p pointy hats allowed. Save it, butler. <sighs> um, can we help you? Oh, yes, you can. Hand over the regalia and go back to where you came from. Oh, you're obviously not a knight of Scrufford. Ha! You wish I was. Um, if you're not a knight, then you're probably not very important. Of course I'm important. I hold the pièce de résistance of the regalia collection. <laughs> OK. Where is it, then? I'm not stupid enough to tell you that it's in the dungeon, am I? <gasps> thinking. You can forget about busting me out of here. I like living in this dungeon, away from the crazies upstairs. <sniffs> Great nosh. Good shut-eye. Mm. But I suppose my nook 
could use a few homely touches. Hook me up with a few things to make my cubbyhole cosy, and I'll give you something to calm down those bats. Ah, live on fire. Make it quick. I've got a lot going on down here. What? Are you laughing? What? I've got a headache. What? I've got a headache. What? What? Doing a runner on ya? <laughs> Where am I gonna go? <laughs> this should help you calm down the bets. I would invite you in, but <laughs> I ain't got the key. <laughs>
Scruffy. I have a feeling we're not in the dungeon anymore. What are you? Blinding mad? This is still the dungeon, darling. I'm quite certain I knew you from somewhere. I certainly hope so, George. I'm your mother. Mother? But, but, we, we thought you were dead. Oh, and you're so young. Well, yoga, lattes and regular Botox jabs will do that to you. You could really use some yourself, Victoria. Oh, come on, Mother. Be nice. Can you blame me? You left us. Scrufford. All this. For her. And I'm sure she was totally worth it. Your father and I were heartbroken when you left, George. Soon after, we got wind of a sinister plot to usurp the seat of Scrufford. And whoever was trying to get rid of us succeeded. Well, almost. I survived. With no heir, the future of Scrufford hung in the balance. So... I gathered the knights of Scrufford and entrusted each of them with a piece of regalia and swore them to secrecy. I gave Raja the tapestry in pieces so that the knights' identities would remain unknown. I was just about to go into hiding when she found me and I was captured and I've been in this prison ever since. But this is not a prison at all. <laughs> I do have my standards. What's all the fuss about? Who are you? Sorry to crash the family reunion, folks. You? So much for being in disguise, mother. Shut up, Charles. You're not even my real son. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Someone get me some chocolate. Alexandra, but why? Because you rejected me, George. We were to be married. But you left me high and dry at the altar. Because of you, I lost my happily ever after. Guards, seize her! I will have my revenge. <laughs> Your Royal Highness. Hail the true Duke of Scrufford, George Arthur Philip Scruff. Hip hip hooray! <laughs> Thanks for all your help, friend. I'm sure there'll be more adventures to be had. As you can see, there's never a dull moment with the scruffs. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs>